asking questions, but. What are your thoughts on the first couple of exhibitions so far? What have you seen from the team? Anything you seems out that you maybe didn't think you'd see going in? Um, no, I think uh, I think it was uh, it was good to see us against uh, some different folks. I know our guys have been obviously since the Bahamas. We're ready to start playing games and, and going up against someone different. And uh, um, I think that uh, from the first exhibition to the second exhibition, uh, it kind of jump started us to say, okay, we're we're close now. We're here. Um, these are no longer practices. Now it's time to, to start getting prepared for, for real games and, and going up against opponents and getting back into the rhythm of scouting report, game preparation, all those things. So uh, I think it, uh, it was good to also get back in front of our fans and, and back playing in Rupp. Was it just hitting shots in that second game that kind of made the difference on offense? Um, yeah, some, some, of it, some of it was that. Some of it had to do with a really good coached uh, opposing team. And uh, uh, I'm proud to say that. <laughs> I think uh, uh, their staff did a great job in the Missouri Western and, and their team, and going to be rooting for them and looking forward to uh, their success. It seemed like you guys were attacking more, attacking the basketball more in the case of the game than you did before. Is that something that was planned, or was it just the opponent, or is it something going forward? That... No, I think it's something that uh, the makeup of uh, all of Cal's teams are to be aggressive and attacking and playing downhill and wanting to play fast and transition, playing off of our defense um, and and running. And I just think that uh, uh, we were able to do that uh, in, the can in, the, in the Kentucky State game. As a staff, what do you guys hope to see out of them in this first like actual game? Uh, we want to see the same things we just talked about. We want to see us running. We want to see us flying around. We want to see us rotating, defending. You know, um, Howard brings a different challenge uh, to, the, to the table. They're a really long team. They've got a lot of experience. They've been able to capitalize off the transfer portal. Um, they bring some guys in that, that, that have played, have made um, great impacts on, on their team. Uh, there's a team that's picked to, to be in the conversation to win the, the win their conference. Um, and again, they're really, really long and, and athletic and, and they can shoot the ball. Can you update on Savir, what his situation is going on um, <clears throat> I just What I know is that uh, he, he's been getting treatments, been working. Um, you know, I guess it's gonna, it'll be a game time decision. Those guys that are uh, in the gym and, and, and Trying to get, uh, trying to get healthy. What do you miss when he's not out there? What, what obviously you got a lot of good guards on this team. But mm -hmm. What can't be replicated when, when he's not out there? Mm -hmm. um, his speed, his tenacity, picking up the ball defensively, um, the way that he's able to impose his will on uh, the game and the opposing team's guards. You know that uh, it's hard to duplicate that over a course of a game and how he wears down. And the other thing that he does is he's got a great basketball mind. He knows how to find guys and, and put them at ease and get them easy baskets and, and those kind of things. Uh, you know, that's what you get, you're going to expect from a veteran all-league player and, and uh, you know, a Bob Cousy runner-up. What's up here? Uh, you've had Kaysen and uh, CJ playing point guard as well. What have you seen from them so far and your just impressions of them being able to run the show? They've been great. They've been great. Those guys have stepped up, and, and it's what happens when you're dealing with uh, some some injuries and and some folks missing. You you, you give your uh, the teammates an opportunity to step up, and those guys have stepped up in a big way. Um, I think it's added to to their game. Um, you know, they they've been able to do yeoman's work and in, in filling in. Do you all look ahead at all to Michigan State, or is it truly who's that? Oh no! Yeah, we're we're focusing on uh, on Howard. That's our 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 next game and our next opponent. And and um, you know we got to respect them and, and be prepared for that game first. If, if guys like you know, Oscar and Sapir aren't able to play, could you flip this into a positive and with getting guys maybe more minutes than uh, what they maybe anticipated? Um, certainly, certainly, it's 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 given an opportunity for other guys to step up and 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 show what they can do with those opportunities. 
and that's what you want. Um, it's a team. And so injuries are part of what happens in the course of a season. And that also allows an opportunity for guys to continue to work on their game and now go out there and, and, and demonstrate that they deserve and, and should use that opportunity for more, more, more playing time. Is there any update on Oscar? He looked like he was moving around a little better, like pregame against Kennedy State. He's working every day. And, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's been in rehabbing and he's been in the gym and he's doing some things so uh, I think that's a game time decision. Kaysen was pretty active, you know, we saw it in those Bahamas games too on both ends. What have you seen out of him so far? How encouraging is it as a freshman to be making those impact plays so quick? Um, for Kaysen as a freshman, it's really encouraging what he's been able to do this early on. Um, but it's not surprising. You know, he has a mature game. He has a mature way about him and it's just being demonstrated more and more and, and he's continuing to get better every day understanding what the team needs understanding where his role fits in the team and uh, how to elevate his teammates and he's uh, you know really really happy to have him speaking of those opportunities what Ugana I think got a lot more run than he probably would have <clears throat> see how to have those two exhibitions and have you been seeing that type of stuff in practice? Yeah, uh, Wuzgana's a, a, a great uh, great young man, really, really intelligent, um, runs the floor really hard and obviously at seven foot he's got a great timing defensively in terms of going and blocking shots. Um, you know, he's still a puppy, he's learning a lot, he's learning on the fly. I think uh, I think what Lance has been able to do and, 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 and Jacob and taking those guys under his wing, taking them under, his, under their wing and, and showing them and talking to them through practices has really encouraged him and helped him. And, and you know, he and I are getting, we're spending a lot of time on, in the gym so that uh, we can continue to grow his game. Anything surprise you about him? I know you were obviously very instrumental in that recruitment and got on not much of a preseason for him getting here so late. Anything surprise you about his game? Not the um, how quickly he's able to understand and adapt um, his IQ and his feel. Uh, has been, you know, something that obviously you can't tell when you're recruiting a kid until you actually start working with them. Um, he's picking up concepts really, really quickly, and, and, and that's uh, that's impressive for uh, a young man that probably would be still in high school right now. He's acknowledged that offensively he still has a ways to go. Is that, mm -hmm. uh, I guess, a positive, that kind of attribute that makes you think he'll, he'll get there maybe a little more quickly or, or at least has a chance to get there? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's something that we're, well, we work on every day um, to get him comfortable. And he's got the tools. It's just understanding how and when to utilize him and, and getting stronger and getting more confident and then finding the time and then the spacing to be able to utilize uh, those abilities. Is that a lot of speed of the game type stuff too? Isn't yeah, it? oh yeah, oh yeah. Every, every level you go up, the, the, the game gets faster and um, and you have to learn how to, how to adjust to that as well as then slow down your thinking about what's happening and find your find your groove in those you know that timing. Cal came out that video on Twitter obviously just saying the VBS invitation <coughs> and this team's not ready yet. I guess in your words how can you elaborate on that just the status of the team? What what was Cal kind of saying of, you know be patient, the team's not ready, what does the team need to do? I just think I think uh, I think Cal was very clear in what he was saying. It's, it's just that to be patient with the team. Um, we have a lot of uh, guys that are stepping up into their roles. Um, obviously, you're missing, you know, two All League players, uh, National Player of the Year, and like I said, a Bob Cousy Award finalist. Um, and, and, and unfortunately, right now we're without Damien as well as he's dealing with his personal matter. Um, so that's you know, those are three starters that you're, you know, not with. And um, so that's what he was referencing. And, uh, and as you work with this team, what do you feel like they also need to get to that point? What are you trying to see out of them here in this next couple um, What we're trying to see is just the consistency, consistency of effort, consistency of sacrifice and sharing, talking defensively, um, and running. You know, I think that those are our strengths. I think, um, you know, we were able to do a lot of that this summer. And we want to continue to, to, to show those things that we did this summer now that, you know, games are here. How, how excited are you to see a guy like CJ, you know, hit the floor? It's been a long time for him to been dealing with injuries. And you 
work with him day in and day out, so how excited are you to see him in that real game action? Um, really excited, really happy for him. Um, no one deserves to have more success than CJ and, and what he's been able to do, what he's been able to endure, what his family's have to, has had to deal with um, over the years. And the kid has stayed positive, has been incredible in terms of his dedication to his body, to his rehab, um, and continues to be that way. And he's a great teammate, great teammate. And so, you know, when you have those attributes in a kid, you root, you root like hell for him to have success. And so, you know, we're glad he's on our team and uh, uh, we'll be rooting for him to have a lot of success. Uh, Sabir has been saying the word efficient. He, he's been preaching efficiency really the entire preseason offseason. What, what does that mean to you? What do you, what do you think he means by that? It hasn't really elaborated yet. That's uh, what we talk about winning basketball. It's in, and then, um, his, his floor game being efficient, his thinking being efficient, his assist to turnover being more efficient. That's what, that's what we talk about um, with Severe. And when you have a, a senior guard that's had the experience that he's had, that's what you look for from, from him. How do you find that balance with him? Because you want him, I'm sure, to play fast and be, you know, that kind of frenzied player because it throws the defense off, but at the same time, he's got enough around him that you kind of want him to dial it back and, and make the right plays. Where, is it tough to find that line? No, that's the line that he's got to find for us. That's what this, this team is, is requiring of him. And, you know, I, I thought he did, a, he did a great job last year uh, of balancing some of that out. And now this year you, you, have, um, you have more expectations and you have more uh, guys, more pieces around you that you can utilize to your, to your ability. And, you know, that's the next part for his growth and for our team. Yep.